Hey everybody, I'm out here working on this tree that's fallen across our garden and every day we get a day that's nice enough for me to come out here and work on it a little bit. Uh, I make a few more cuts, buck a few more pieces of log out of the middle there and slowly but surely we're going to work its way through. So what I'm doing this with, believe it or not, is my works electric chainsaw. I absolutely love this thing. It is perfect for someone like me. Uh, it's got a 10 inch bar on it, so it's easy to handle. It's really lightweight. It's not loud. It doesn't produce any fumes. There's no two cycle uh, gas and it's not absolutely terrifying to operate the way a regular chainsaw is. I absolutely hate using chainsaws. They're big, they're heavy, uh, the engines get really hot. Again, the, the speed that the chain moves is absolutely terrifying. They're noisy and you just feel like you don't have any room for making even the tiniest of mistake. But this is perfect for somebody like me that has to come around and do some odd jobs here and there. This, I'll grant you, is a really uh, big job for this little saw. But if you'll notice uh, some of these bigger branches back there, I use it to cut those up. And I did have a tree fall on the front hill all the way down there. And I was able to get down there on a one battery charge. I was able to uh, get all the branches taken off of it and basically process it down to where it's all just lying on the ground now. And you can't even see it down there. So with this one, with one battery charge, I can make almost four passes. I can make two cuts to remove one log and then a third cut and then I'm on my fourth cut before the battery runs out on me. So this is the battery right there, that little unit on the bottom. And I happen to have a works uh, weed whacker too. So I've got some spare batteries. And so coming out here with two or three batteries, I get quite a bit of uh, use out of them. So one of these is already dead. Uh, I really probably should have uh, put the dead one on a certain spot. I don't know which one is dead now. So one of these is dead. Oh, this is a dead one because it's hot. That's a, that makes sense. Uh, so this still has a full charge on it and we've got a full charge on the battery we're starting with. The only thing you need to worry about with this is adding bar oil. It does need bar oil like any chainsaw. It's self-feeding. You don't have to pump it or prime it or anything. That orange cap right there on the top uh, is where you fill. You simply take that off fill it with the bar oil and put it back on and I top it off with every uh, battery change and haven't had any problems with it just yet. So that's a quick overview of it and in a moment we are going to get my head cam out and I'm going to show you what it's like actually working through one of these logs. So sit tight and give me a second. All right now it's got your basic safety feature you have to push the button and then pull the trigger but that's it. That's as loud as it is. And let's see what it does to this. one pass and hopefully we'll get it in two.
definitely not what this was made for. This is definitely made for processing much smaller wood. But that gives you an idea how powerful this is. And that is not... That is not rotten wood. I know it looks like it's all rotten and everything. But that is hard, solid wood all the way through. And it just keeps on going. I can get uh, almost two of these. That was two cuts. I can do a third. And I usually run out on my fourth. So let's see how much further we can go on this one. it's got that lithium ion smart battery in it so you get full battery power right up until there's not enough and then it shuts itself down so you're not going to get this diminishing uh, slower and slower blade it'll work right up until it shuts down and we're probably going to experience that halfway through this cut so let's see through two of them on one battery but I'm not going to worry about it because that battery is definitely low enough that we'll never get a, another one out of there so that simply slides off put that with the dead battery and it's ready to go again so there you go everybody I will put a link down below to that surprisingly affordable surprisingly powerful and I've used this enough already that I can tell you I am in need of a chain sharpening. Uh, this knob, if you're wondering, not only comes off to allow you to take the chain and the bar off, but once it's on, you can actually use that to move the uh, bar out and tighten your blade. If it's a little loose in there, you can tighten it up, or if it's too tight, you can back this off and actually loosen your blade a little bit, or uh, loosen your chain rather. I keep calling it a blade, but the chain. So there you go anti-kickback bar everything about a real chainsaw except it's a little very lightweight portable electric job there you go everybody thanks for watching see you on the next one